A solution to a messy problem plaguing Terre Haute. Good evening. I'm Patrice Dayton. Mark Allen has the evening off. Crows are considered the smartest birds, which could be part of the problem in why Terre Haute has never been successful in moving them out of the city. But now the city has a new plan. News 10's Jane Santucci has the story. Before crow season ever hits, officials are gearing up to move them out of Terre Haute. The move would be good for businesses such as for Shear Insurance, who cut down multiple trees on their property. If there would be so many crows, I mean, you'd have to make a run for it from your vehicle into the, into the office and hold a notebook over your head just so you wouldn't be covered in, in crow droppings. But the city aims to fix that problem. Their plan was presented in this slideshow Thursday morning. The plan calls for training the crows to move from this area right here, which is a good chunk of the city, to the areas that are in yellow using proven techniques. These areas are along the Wabash River, the old Coke and Carbon plant, and behind the Fort Harrison Industrial Park. City officials are asking to be the only ones to work with the crows, and the outside companies could derail the city's plans. They're, if you talk to some experts, they think they're probably uh, one of the smartest animals, if not the smartest animal on the planet. Crows are smart enough to be able to work with them, but don't expect the crows to flock away this year. It could take up to five years for the crows to move. In Terre Haute with photojournalists Cody Murphy and Tony Cassasia, Jane Santucci, News 10. Now, here's how you can help. If you notice any crows roosting in a particular area, you can call a new hotline the city has set up. You'll find that number on our website, WTHITV.com. And once you go there, you can look at the city's plan for dealing with the crows.